Hi, my name is Sarah Caper, and today I'd like to speak with you about the Safe Streets Pinellas Action Plan and next steps. Safe Streets Pinellas is the Forward Pinellas Vision Zero effort. Vision Zero is a transportation safety philosophy that says it's not okay to lose your life for the sake of mobility, recognizing that humans make mistakes and we should plan and design our roadway network to account for this and minimize the consequences. Over the past year, we've reached out to the public for your help in developing our action plan. We know we need to do something differently. On average, two people are killed or severely injured in collisions every day in Pinellas County. Something has to change. We started by looking at where the killed or severely injured collisions are happening in our county. A severe injury collision is one with extreme and long-term consequences such as disability, lost productivity and wages, or life-altering consequences. We use the collisions to help us find trends and conditions that we might be able to address. For example, most of our killed or severely injured collisions, many of them happen at nighttime, between December and April, and men are overrepresented as drivers in these collisions, as well as people ages 20 to 29. We also looked at the type of collision. While many of the collisions in Pinellas County are rear end collisions, these are much less likely to result in a killed or severely injured crash than others such as left turns, head on collisions, or single vehicle. And the location, we found that many of our collisions are happening on a small number of our roadways. We use this information to develop a high injury network. The high injury network gives us a place to focus on. We also can see key trends that occur on the network or common attributes, such as speed. Much of the high injury network has a speed limit of 40 miles per hour or higher. And almost 75% bounds or runs through a community of concern or an area or neighborhood with a higher than average number of minority and low income populations. This is something we feel strongly needs to be addressed. As part of the action plan development, we looked at countermeasures and demonstration projects to help us with our goal of zero deaths and serious injuries in Pinellas County. We also developed six categories of actions. For each action, we have a time frame, performance measures, and potential partners. An example action under Vision Zero program is to develop a working group within three months of the adoption of the action plan. For data collection, monitoring, and analysis, we include developing collision profiles. The education campaign includes a media kit and working with partner agencies. As part of street and roadway design, we want to continue with our demonstration projects. Funding includes prioritizing funding for safety projects that address areas of com communities of concern. And then legislative includes things like funding for safety projects. In the next upcoming months, we're going to continue to work on our Safe Streets Pinellas Action Plan and implementation, reaching out to our partners, local governments, and the community for your support and to help us with the working group and other year one activities of the action plan. We need your help. If you're interested in participating in the working group, taking the pledge, having a presentation, or learning more, please reach out to us. Thank you.